Hi, I am Ankita Pathak, an economist with Edelweiss. JC Keels recently caught a lot of attention when they fell from 7.4% in May to 6.3% in July, a fall of steep 110 basis points. In this video, we will try to understand what caused this fall and how it affects us as investors in the market and also as members of the economy. So what is a GSEC? GSEC or Government Securities are bonds issued by the Government of India to finance its borrowings. Like any other bond, GSECs have an interest rate or a coupon rate and a price. Let's say the interest rate is 7% and let's assume you have purchased a 100 rupees government bond for 10 years. This essentially means you will earn 7 rupees every year for next 10 years. Now, the yield of the bond is the interest rate divided by the price of the bond. Therefore, the yield is directly proportional to the interest rates and inversely proportional to the price of a bond. When yield falls, the price rises and this creates a scope of making capital gains on bond. GSEC yields are a function of multiple factors of which the three most important ones are inflation and growth which affect the interest rate, fiscal deficit and liquidity. Coming back to point one, inflation and growth affect the interest rates in the economy. When inflation is low and growth is subdued, central banks are likely to cut rates. When interest rate falls, it essentially means that the cost of borrowing falls. This means that your, the bond you are holding today becomes more attractive than any other avenues to lend. In such a scenario, the demand for the bond rises and therefore its price rises. Second important point is fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit tells us the total amount that the government is looking to borrow to finance its expenditure. When the fiscal deficit is low, it means that the government will borrow less. This will reduce the supply of government securities in the market and therefore increase their price. Third important factor is liquidity. Commercial banks hold about 50% of all GSEC holdings. When interbank liquidity is low, they sell their GSEC holdings in the market to get cash to finance their lending and other activity. When interbank liquidity is in surplus, they stop this activity. This means that the supply of bonds in the GSEC market falls and therefore the price rises. Currently, all the above three conditions are being met. Inflation is hovering at about 3%. The last quarter growth was below 6% and was at a five-year low. This has forced RBI to cut interest rates. Interest rates have fallen by 110 basis points in 2019 and currently stand at a nine-year low of 5.4%. On the fiscal deficit front, as we saw in the last budget, that the government is following a path of fiscal consolidation and they further reduce the fiscal deficit target to 3.3%. The interbank liquidity moved in the surplus zone in May and has remained there ever since. We believe that GSEC yields can fall further from current 6.4% to 6% in FY20. This will make GSEC an interesting investment opportunity to look at. Now that you know the macro perspective of bond markets and how they function, you can read our analysis of bond markets in the markets and economy section on the website edelweiss.in. Thank you.